With hundreds of satellites launched every year, space collisions and the creation of fast-moving pieces of space debris becoming more likely, threatening our ongoing human and technological presence in space. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development recently published its first report on the economic value of space debris. Using research from numerous sources, including data and analysis from the ESA Space Debris Office, he outlines the dangers that may arise in the future if we do not act and what can be done to secure a future in space. Here we summarize the main findings of the report and explain how ESA helps solve the problem through its space security program. Commercial and institutional use of space is growing at a faster pace. The number of satellites in orbit will increase with the launch of mega constellations for broadband satellite communications, some of which include thousands of satellites, while increasing the risk of collisions and an increase in the amount of space debris. Only one collision or explosion in space creates thousands of small, rapidly moving small pieces of debris that can damage or destroy a working satellite. For example, in 2007, the deliberate destruction of the Fengyun 1C satellite doubled the amount of garbage at an altitude of about 800 kilometers, which led to an increase in the total number of garbage at the time by 30%. Regarding the cost of space debris, the report says that, measures to protect against space debris and mitigate its consequences are already expensive for satellite operators, but the main risks and costs lie in the future. If the formation of debris goes out of control it will transfer certain orbits to the status unsuitable for human activity. Protecting satellites from space debris is expensive, starting with constructive measures, the need for surveillance and tracking, moving existing satellites away from danger, and even replacing missions in general. According to OECD data, for satellites in geostationary orbit, such expenses amount to approximately 5-10% of the total mission expenses, which may amount to hundreds of millions of dollars. In low Earth orbits, the relative costs per mission can be even higher than 5-10%. However, the cost of inaction will be much higher. A sufficient amount of debris in orbit can ultimately lead to Kessler syndrome, in which a collision occurs, leading to an increasing number of self-generated collisions and what the OECD describes as an environmental tipping point that may render some orbits unusable. The socio-economic consequences of Kessler syndrome will be serious. Important space programs may be lost, such as weather forecasting, climate monitoring, earth sciences, and space communications. Failure to use certain orbits will have far-reaching and significant consequences. According to the report, this will include